everybody, it's Claire from Garvin Library here and today we're going to have our first author spotlight of the new year and we're going to start with one of my favourite American authors, F. Scott Fitzgerald and that is some of the South Ayrshire Library books of his there are others throughout the branches and there are four on the Libby app if you prefer to read an e-book Now, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald, to give him his proper name um, was not a massively prolific writer. He only actually completed four novels. Um, there was one that was half finished when he died, over a hundred short stories, but not as prolific as a lot of the authors would maybe look at. And the reason that he is so important and that he is so worth trying is because he gives us this really accurate snapshot of 1920s America, which was, he was looking at the jazz age, which is actually a phrase that he coined. So you're thinking flapper girls, decadence, drinking, smoking, partying, um, consumerism, materialism coming in, can I buy that just because I want it, um, buying with credit, which wasn't really so much of a thing before. So a really interesting cultural change happening um, that you get this amazing insight into through his books. Now. His most famous book is The Great Gatsby. Everybody's probably heard of The Great Gatsby, even if you've never read it. And it looks at all the things we've just been talking about in the most beautifully simple way. Fitzgerald has a great turn of phrase. He writes in a very, very simple, elegant, um, descriptive manner that make his book so easy to read. If you read it today, you wouldn't know it had been written in the 1920s. It could have been written today. It's not like an old book. It is super relevant, um, super engaging, really easy um, to follow. The settings are fantastically drawn. They are twinkly and glittery and glamorous and decadent. And the characters are kind of larger than life, a lot of them. They are who you'd maybe want to, to meet at a party and hang out with. But then Fitzgerald gives you the reality behind the surface shine and the reality is not as pretty. The reality is not um, as glittery as what is on the surface. Fitzgerald's always talked about an association with the American dream and the American dream just means that if you work hard you can get whatever you want. You can get the big house, you can have the biggest car, you can have the prettiest wife, you can have whatever you want. And what Fitzgerald looks at is the American dream really attainable? Is it is it a real thing or is it actually an illusion? Gatsby is quite often described as being the embodiment of the American dream because he does have the huge house. He has the best parties. He has um, a social circle round about him. But as we progress throughout the book, you see that Gatsby is actually not living the dream. He has this unattainable love for Daisy, um, who he never gets. He isn't actually um, an upstanding citizen, he's actually a criminal and he dies alone and he dies lonely. So it's not the dream, the dream is fragmented, the dream is shattered. But that sounds really depressing, the books are not depressing, they're so well written that you are so engaged with the characters um, and going along with them and kind of rooting for them in a lot of ways. You're really rooting for Gatsby, Gatsby could be a villain but he never becomes a villain because he's very kind of humble um, and he's very personable so he never really becomes the villain. He's not the hero either, he's kind of anti-hero so you are still willing for the characters. The American Dream is a big theme in Fitzgerald. The theme of wealth and wealth corrupting um, is repeated throughout his books. You see that in The Beautiful and the Damned where Anthony and Gloria spend their whole lives waiting for this money. And when they get this money, everything will be great and it will solve all our problems. And they actually become corrupted even at the thought of this money. Their relationships, their value, their characters are completely ruined just by the idea of the money, not even the actual money itself. He also looks at the difference between your persona and what's happening in the inside. And you see that repeated again and again in a lot of his characters. He also looks at alcohol and the ill effects of alcohol which is really interesting because Fitzgerald was a serious alcoholic 
but he's very scathing of anybody who abuses alcohol in his books. Nick, the narrator in The Great Gatsby, is very, very derogatory about people who are abusing alcohol, especially women. Women always come in for it um, in much harsher language than the men. Um, there's a great Fitzgerald quote, and once you hear it, you'll never forget it. It's so accurate. And it says, um, first you take a drink, then the drink takes a drink, and then the drink takes you. And it's so beautifully and simply written. Um, first you think you're controlling the drink, but eventually the drink controls you. And that's quite a recurring theme throughout his books as well. He also looks at social divides. Can you move up through the social classes? Can you get to the top of social standing with new money versus American old money? Nick again talks about indiscernible barbed wire, which is this. You can't see it, but it's rigid and you're not going to get past it. You're not going to be able to move up and attain the American dream as easily as you think. So Fitzgerald is well worth a try. He's so easy to read. Great Gatsby is a very, very short book if you wanted to try that or try one of his short stories. His short stories are fabulous. You've got The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, The Diamond As Big As The Ritz, The Last Bells, there's so many. There's a short story collection on the shelf behind me and they are fabulous. And they're so, um, they describe a life that's so decadent, it's worth reading about because it's probably not what most of us are living day to day. So it's nice to read about it. It's nice to read about something different. So, if you want to try one of these, go into your local library and we will get it to you or go into the Libby app or try something else. Bye for now.